Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a very special episode of Easy Buckets. How y'all doing today? In today's video, I got something that I guarantee you guys are going to absolutely love. Especially if you're a Los Angeles Laker fan. We're going to be talking about five players that I believe Los Angeles Lakers must target. The Lakers are the NBA champions this year and the biggest question about them going into this offseason is how can they improve and get better? And oh boy, the answers to this question, there are just so many of them. That's why in this video, we're only gonna be talking about five, but not just any five. Five of the most realistic, most likely, and just five players that make sense for the Lakers. Cause I'll be honest guys, some of these rumors I'm hearing, they're just super unrealistic. Out of these five players that I'll be showing you guys, I guarantee you, if the Lakers get one or two of these players on their roster for 2021, their chances for a back-to-back -back NBA championship, oh boy, it just increases to another level. But quickly guys, if you're new to the channel and love basketball, welcome to Easy Buckets. My name is Soom, and I make basketball videos every single day. I'm putting up about six videos per week. I guarantee you guys are going to love all the content that I'm putting out, so if you're new, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click this button right here, the post notification bell, to not miss any of my upcoming videos. If you watch this video and agree to my list, be sure to smash that thumbs up button, guys. I would really appreciate it. It would really help out the channel a lot. But without wasting any more time, we're going straight into the Los Angeles Lakers and five players I believe they must target in this offseason. The Lakers are planning to make big moves in this upcoming offseason, and with free agency around the corner, they gotta start thinking what they're gonna do right now. A lot of you guys have been commenting in my previous videos, when is the free agency date? And to keep it real, there isn't an actual date yet. The rumors about free agency is that it will start somewhere in late November, or either mid-December, somewhere between that date. And with the month of October almost ending, every NBA team is in pursuit of the best free agents possible. The Lakers don't have the best money when it comes to spending in free agency, but sometimes there are players in the NBA that are willing to take a pay cut to be in a winning organization. So out of these five players, some of them I believe the Lakers can get out of free agency, and some of them I believe the Lakers must trade for. So without wasting time, let's start with the list. The first must target, I believe, is Derrick Rose Curley of the Detroit Pistons, and he's becoming a very popular opinion. A report came out yesterday that a Derrick Rose trade right now is much more likely than it was during the NBA trade deadline last season. Derrick Rose has been linked to the Lakers multiple times, and this season, there was a big rumor that the Lakers wanted to trade Alex Caruso for Derrick Rose. It's actually a good thing that the Lakers didn't do that trade because I believe Alex Crusoe was a key factor to why the Lakers won the championship this year. He was a key player off the bench. But the reason why they're saying a Derrick Rose trade is more likely now is because in this offseason, the Lakers are looking for a backup point guard because recently, their six-man guard of Rajon Rondo announced that he will be entering free agency and opting out of his contract. The possibility of Rajon Rondo re-signing is definitely 50-50, so the Lakers have to act now just in case they lose their second ball handler behind LeBron James. Derrick Rose was the youngest MVP ever, and even though he's 32 years old, he 100% can still ball. Playing for Detroit this year, he's averaging 18.1 points per game and 5.6 assists playing 26 minutes as a six-man. The reason why Derrick Rose just makes perfect sense in this scenario is because Derrick Rose can easily be a six man for the Lakers, play 25 minutes, and put up a good amount of points. Behind LeBron James and Anthony Davis, the Lakers don't have a third scoring option, and Derrick Rose would fill this spot perfectly. If the Lakers can offer up Kyle Kuzma, Quinn Cook, and their 2020 first round pick, I believe Detroit would accept that trade, as they are currently looking for young players if they're going to trade Derrick Rose. And if this happens, just imagine the closing lineup of D-Rose, KCP, LeBron, 
and Anthony Davis on the same lineup. LeBron would have a new partner on the offensive system. The next player is a free agent, and that's Lakers going for Danilo Gallinari, who is a big free agent target right now. When OKC lost this year in the NBA playoffs, Gallinari announced that in free agency, he wants to join a championship contender, because when talking about his career, he is getting older and has not yet had the opportunity to compete for a championship on a championship level. Danilo Gallinari is one of the best shooters at that power forward position and what's great about Gallinari is that he's just an amazing floor spacer. He's very versatile, you can play him at the power forward, small forward or even at the center because he's very agile and just adds an offensive punch to any team. There has been multiple rumors that Gallinari might be joining the Miami Heat, might be going back to the Clippers, might be joining the Brooklyn Nets, the Boston Celtics, but I believe the Lakers are the perfect option for him. If the Lakers don't end up signing Markeith Morris, they could fill that backup power forward role with Gallinari and he can be an impactful player and be a star in his role. Gallinari put up 19 points per game this year for OKC and imagine if the Lakers can have somebody off the bench that can score almost 20 a night. With Gallinari, they could easily find their third option scorer. I really want to see this happen, Gallinari to the Lakers, it would be absolutely amazing. The third player is another free agent and that's Joe Harris currently of the Brooklyn Nets. Joe Harris is entering this free agency as one of the most popular shooting guards because he's one of the best floor spacers and 3 point shooters. This year he averaged 15 points per game, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, but his 3 point percentage? It was insane, he shot a total of 42%. And that is something that is not common in the NBA. This year during the playoffs, Danny Green was very disappointing when it comes to his floor spacing and three point shooting and maybe the Lakers might want to replace him, replace him with Joe Harris who could be the starting shooting guard and be a knockdown dead eye three point shooter for them. We all know the best players to surround LeBron James with are shooters and that's why Joe Harris just fits this role perfectly. I believe if the Lakers can do a sign and trade with Brooklyn and give up Danny Green for Joe Harris, they can easily sign him for a $10 million deal for a few years. The next player is the Lakers doing a trade with the Indiana Pacers for Victor Oladipo. When talking about Victor Oladipo, there are so many rumors when it comes to his future with Indiana. What we're hearing so far is that Victor Oladipo wants a max contract when he enters free agency next season. And what the Indiana Pacers are saying, they don't think they're going to give him one. Victor Oladipo is one of those guards in the NBA where he's considered an all-star but due to injuries, his game has definitely declined. That makes a lot of NBA teams worry about Victor Oladipo's future and there are some risks when it comes to him being long term on a team. But I'll be honest guys, I think Victor Oladipo still has it. I still believe he can be a consistent factor on an NBA team. And him being a third option in the bright lights of LA might be the best thing for him as it'll give him an opportunity to rejuvenate his career and get a shot at a championship. If the Lakers can offer up Danny Green, Kyle Kuzma and their 2020 first round pick, I believe that might be enough to land Victor Oladipo as the Indiana Pacers will be getting some good in return. Imagine the starters of Victor Oladipo, LeBron James and Anthony Davis. LeBron would have so many options when it comes to making the right play. Victor Oladipo is a very special guard, he can play make, he can create his own shot, but what's very special about him is that he is a great perimeter and on ball defender and any NBA team would love to have that addition, an all star that plays consistent defense. And the last player on this list is actually my favorite and that's the Lakers getting DeMar DeRozan. When talking about the Los Angeles Lakers and them searching for a third star to assess LeBron and AD, DeMar DeRozan is at the top of that list. DeMar DeRozan will be entering this free agency with a player option with the Spurs and from what we're hearing, he's going to opt out of it as he'll easily become one of the best free agents in this class. DeMar has personally expressed himself that he does not believe that he'll be re-signing with the Spurs and what the Spurs have to do in this offseason is try to get rid of DeMar DeRozan instead of losing him for nothing next year if he still opts into his contract. DeMar has been linked to LA multiple times, he wants to play for Los Angeles and him going to the Lakers is a big rumor ever since 2018. 
I believe if the Lakers can do a sign and trade with DeMar DeRozan, offer up Danny Green, Kyle Kuzma, Avery Bradley, and their 2020 first round pick, that might be able to land DeMar DeRozan and give the Lakers a big three. Throughout this whole season, the Lakers have always been looking for their third scoring option, but what DeMar brings to the table is not just scoring, he's also a great playmaker at that two shooting guard spot. I would love to see this happen guys, this is absolutely my favorite scenario. But ultimately guys, this wraps up my video for today on the Los Angeles Lakers and 5 players I believe they must target. What's most important to me is I want to know what you guys think. Do you agree with me? Do you not? Are there any other players that I miss? Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. But other than that, take it easy, God bless, and I'll see you all next time on Easy Buckets. Woo. I got angels flying on